My name is Maya Little Sonia, and I'm a youth minister at St. Paul's Episcopal Cathedral and a film photographer. I found out about film photography uh, primarily through my boyfriend, Javi Garcia, who I believe you featured before. Um, I started dating him and kind of by association, that's kind of, you know, his thing. So it kind of became my thing and um, been shooting ever since. After initially finding out about it, I think the thing that kept me shooting was just how um, portable, I suppose, it was. I hadn't ever shot digital before, and I found that I was outside a lot, I take public transit, and photography seemed like kind of the most natural, creative extension of my life and what I was doing on the go. And it was just a wonderful way to capture my everyday life. I love the grain, I love the vibrant colors that just kind of, you don't need to put a filter on them, it just kind of comes out. And um, I don't know if this is a question later on, but what I really love about the, I love the tangible qualities of shooting film and that tangible process. Something that I try to kind of encapsulate is a nostalgia. I don't know what I've called it. I think it's like a nostalgia for a place and a time that I've never really experienced. You know what I mean? Like this almost timeless look that you can see an image that I capture and you couldn't tell if it was from 1981 to 2020. Um, and so I don't include a lot of cars or logos or anything. And I think film naturally uh, helps achieve that vision because that it's a timeless um, tool. So. I think I find that I really enjoy photographing buildings, especially old buildings. I love things with vibrant colors, um, a lot of shadows, and I think it kind of helps me evoke that uh, nostalgic feeling. And it's kind of like if walls could talk. I love old buildings because you don't know who pulls up to that building and has just so many memories either which way, negative or positive, about it. Um, and architecture is a form of art, and so I love kind of capturing that. I do not uh, prefer digital, I guess. Uh, I've never shot digital. My first introduction to photography was with film. Uh, if I had to kind of extrapolate or, or hypothesize, I suppose, how I would feel about digital, I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> Simply because what I adore about film is, so I tend to be quite like a perfectionist. And so with digital, I can just imagine that I would be fixating over whether or not I got a certain shot and that would just be frustrating and time consuming and tedious. And with film, there's just kind of this radical acceptance that you have to employ of like, well, something's in this camera or, or maybe not, but I just got to trust it. So. No, I don't think film can be replicated with digital. Uh, Maybe one could really try with the filters that are available now, but I think the part of film that can't be replicated by digital is kind of what I was talking about, uh, is that um, kind of emotional and physical manifestation, like that process that can't be, that can't be replicated at all uh, with digital, unless you kind of insisted or programmed your camera to not show you the shot until you uploaded it or whatever, but you can't. You can't do that. Yes, I think there would be a, a different mindset shooting with digital and film, kind of going back to the, the stillness that I experience with film. Um, you know, I've shot with my phone before, uh, and, and that, there's certainly a different feeling with film in doing that. There's a real intentionality 
about film, you can't just be super trigger happy. I mean, you could be, but you might not be super pleased with either the cost or the result of that. And so I think that intentionality is something that perhaps isn't as required in, in digital film, so, or digital uh, photography. A book. Um, I would create a book where, back, back in my day, um, I used to create a lot of poetry and I would really beat myself up on the quality back then when I was younger and looking back on it, uh, I really kind of enjoy that writing that I had done and I would love to compile a photo book that, with accompanying uh, poetry from that time. And I find like a lot of my photos are kind of similar in that way of when it first came out, I didn't appreciate it as much as like I let it sit for a couple months and then I look back on it. And so I would like to do that. I guess my tried and true is uh, Ultramax 400, Kodak Ultramax 400 color negative film because that's simply, I think, what I just shoot the most of. Uh, it's more cost effective. I've shot Portra, which I, I really like, but you know, I'm a youth minister. I don't make that much money, so uh, Kodak Ultramax 400. I really enjoy this Spotmatic uh, that my sister gave me. The light meter or, or whatever is not, it doesn't work, it's non-functional in it. And so what this camera really taught me how to eyeball my exposures uh, through trial and error. Not to like lecture folks, <laughs> but I feel like our generation, you know, my generation, I'm, I'm 21, so I'm a zier. Um, we're really used to instant gratification, right? Whether that's our photos, our media, everything, our communication. And so perhaps photography in the smallest way can be a, an intentional practice of delayed gratification and trial and error and just um, calling back more analog forms of everything. Like I love to write letters. I love, um, just, just kind of these older ways to connect with each other and I think it'd be cool to kind of experience that together. Finding the right exposure, especially like I said with this camera and figuring out, yeah, how I'm gonna shoot things. I think I don't have, I have one zoom lens, but kind of having to work with a subject to get the right uh, composition, you know. what I've seen in kind of almost the last year, I think there's going to be a renaissance, a resurgence, so to speak, of that uh, of film photography, a renewed interest, and that's kind of, I think, the trend we've been seeing. Uh, and I think it's like anything that perhaps it'll experience somewhat of a rebirth and a revitalization, uh, and then perhaps it might cycle out a little bit and come right back. So I think uh, that's where we're at right now, and I think that's the future. I'm Maya Little Sonia and I shoot film.